what's up everybody welcome back to another video um hope you guys enjoyed the intro so i been kind of doing some stuff on uh just redoing the channel pretty much like just doing some editing some setting changes so you're gonna see a lot of differences in the next coming uh in the coming months uh, i'm really just playing with different ideas and i'm messing with the settings and all that so i recently redid the the trailer for or the intro i don't know why i said trailer it's not a fucking trailer yeah i'm an idiot the intro <laughs> I redid the intro because I, I feel like I kind of wanted to have an intro, but I wasn't really sure. So let me know down below if you guys like the intro, if what I sh else I should do with the intro. Um, I downloaded like upwards of like three or four thousand megabytes of music from YouTube's free music library that I completely forgot existed. Um, so we're going to see tons of cool music. I think in the background of this video, we're going to have some cool chill vibe music. Um, so super cool stuff. But... Without further ado, let's drop into the video. Let's go over everything that happened with Season Reloaded. Because yesterday, I fell asleep after making that quick video. Um, which, if you missed that video, you can go watch it. But basically, all I said in the video was uh, that Season Reloaded was broken. And it still currently is broken, but less broken. So let's go into everything that's new, everything that's changed right now. So, some of the biggest things that you're going to see right off the bat looking at the game is there's a new game mode called Souped Up and a new map called Rio. Rio's really, really fucking sick, by the way. I think Rio is... In my personal opinion, Rio is probably the best map we've had. New map. Like, no remaster, no remake, no reimagine, none of that, right? But just truly new. Like, completely new, never done before. By far one of the best maps we've had since world war ii dlcs and the reason i say that is because it is the traditional style so if we actually look at rio um which unfortunately i don't have a way to pull it up on the screen but basically if you look at rio right it's a traditional three lane map but not done in the really shitty three lane maps that we've had for the last like four and a half years um black ops 4 is a perfect example of this black ops 4 had some really good maps and then i had some really shitty maps um but the shitty maps came towards the end of its life cycle. I do think that's due to the fact of just the way the developers changed up how they design maps. Now, I think one of the best things about the Rio is not only does it visually look really good and it play really well, but it feels like a Black Ops 3 or uh, like Fans Warfare, Infinite Warfare, or a Ghost deal, like that era in DLCs, right? It just feels good. It feels. It really gives me Black Ops 3 vibes, especially the color schemes, the the location. It just gives me like blah, Black Ops 3 vibes. Now, the souped up mode is pretty cool, but I'm not really a fan of the whole superhero stuff. I'm not really a superhero guy. Like when I I don't watch superhero movies very often, um, and when I do, it's usually like DC, like Joker, or Harley Quinn, or. Um, like Superman and Batman, that type of stuff. But otherwise, I really don't watch or participate in superhero flicks. Um, I like sci-fi stuff, but like the traditional, you know, like Marvel, The Boys, that type of stuff. I'm not really into those type of shows, but that's besides the point. Um, not a huge fan of the way they have it set up right now currently, because currently in the game... The only way to have fun on souped up is actually to run a melee weapon because when you get kills and you get the abilities, it makes you have be literally overpowered as a meleeer. It makes you overpowered, so it's not really too enjoyable um, overall. But it's pretty cool. It's there if you want to. I need to still play the event because I'm working on the event mastery to get the, the camo. I still need seven wins, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I need to play the game six more times at least to win it. Um, but overall, you know, we're getting there. But those are the two big things that came this season. Uh, we are getting some bundles that you're going to see. I'm going to do a bundle review for the Firecracker Girl, I think it is. It's the Redhead Chick. Um, it's one of the skins that I've been looking forward to since they announced it back um, almost a month ago. Two months ago almost. Um, but that's coming out soon. I'm hoping it drops today, but I'm not too sure. Ranked has been delayed until further notice. There is no information on whether or not we'll be getting ranked. Um, so yesterday when they dropped the update, they broke the entire game. Warzone was completely broken. 
So I've been up all night um, doing different stuff with YouTube or watching shows or whatever, keeping up the, uh, keeping up with all the information that's been happening. Um, and throughout the night, Raven and all the other developers were, I guess, pulling all-nighters, I guess, trying to fix the game. And Warzone got fixed for the most part, as far as I know. Like, all the crashing, the glitching, the loadouts, all that stuff is fixed now. So if you want to play Warzone, if you're a Warzone player, you should be good to go now. I think they said if you're still having perk issues, just to make the perk, your custom perk uh, loadout again. Or just, you know, switch it or something to a different one. And then switch it back. That should fix that. But otherwise, everything else for the most part is fixed. And then today, I think 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, or 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, if I think if that's correct. I could be wrong if, if, if I am, just, you know. Uh, just let people know in the comments, but I think that's 1 p.m. EST. Um, they are reactivating the newer Warzone nuke. So if you're someone who did manage to get on Warzone yesterday and get some progress made towards Warzone nuclears, they were turned off yesterday, but um, they will be turned back on again today. And then, as well as if you've made any progress towards them, that will still contain all that information. So if you're on like a four or five win streak or something, that stuff will be saved. So pretty cool. Um, for the zombies half side, <coughs> not much has happened. Um, they added the Dokibi, uh, Warlord, so that's pretty cool. But they also took out the other Warlord, so I don't understand that concept. Why? Like, I feel like the game could have, I mean, I don't even know anymore, to be honest with you. I, I just don't, I don't, this game makes no sense half the time. Um, you get two new weapons, so I stayed up all night grinding the new weapons, um, Currently, I have the, uh, actually, before I talk about the new weapons, I do want to showcase this. I did get the EMP launcher Interstellar last night, too. <laughs> so, for anyone that didn't know, if you're not keeping up the date on the uh, information currently online, uh, the, there is currently, uh, there was, there was, before this update, sorry, was a glitch that was causing this not to track, which was getting affected, to affect 25 enemies with the EMP gun. That has been fixed as of yesterday. <laughs> the one thing that they added that actually is working, which is hysterical. Um, and yeah, pretty much it just, so now you can unlock it if you've been, if you've gotten it to the point of plat. So I got that last night done. That's pretty cool. So I'm finally up to, uh, I'm finally back to pretty much being done all the guns except for the two new ones. But as for the new guns go, the TAC LMG is the build I'm running with it currently. I haven't run this build too much on MP. I was doing this mostly on zombies. Um, but if you guys want to see this build, you can. I'm going to have a better build coming up here soon. I want to have a video breaking down this as well as some of the other operator mods they have released. But... Um, camo wise, we haven't touched this on multiplayer yet. You can see it's all, it's all, you know, zeros. But over here in zombies, we worked pretty hard last time on this thing, and I, I sweated for this heavily. Some of these camos are sick, by the way. Um, like this one right here is sick. Um, but currently, the zombies tack challenge is bugged. You cannot get the 10 kill or 10 kills without reloading 10 times. Um, I got like so many at in one match, and it just didn't track any of them. So. I might try again today and see if this is a, if it was something last night that affected it and maybe it'll be better today. I don't know. Might try again. I'm just waiting for my stuff on zombies to to uh, re cool down. But um, we did get the Borealis camo for the new SMG. So you can see here we have Borealis on the new SMG. Again, this is the build I'm running with it. Um, this feels really smooth. Uh, I might do some adjustments. I just can't find the build that feels good right now with it. And I can't decide if I want to have a fast build or a slow build, but be date and won't have more damage. I really don't know. Um, by the way, I do want to point out that the new SMG is basically the SMG version of the M27 from Black Ops 2. Um, a lot of people are considering this gun as a, gr a growl from from Model for 2019, but if you use the base version of the gun, it is a miniature version of the m27 from black ops 2 which i think is pretty sick i really like that this game is doing that and they're adding they're either naming guns from previous cods like we have the longbow and we have uh the haymaker and and all that type of stuff which is cool but i'm also loving that this game is doing a lot of things where they're 
um, as I just delete the entire build by accident, like a fucking idiot. But they're they're actually like participating in um, making like old school guns, but remodernized versions, which is pretty cool. The new LMG as well, the TAC uh, LMG. If you actually look at the iron sights here, we can go into a, a, a little shooting range here and show you guys. Um, but if you actually look at the LMG's iron sights, these are the OG, the OG iron sights from like the original uh, Black Ops series and Mono for series scars. So if you go back and play like Mono for 3 scar, I think Black Ops 2 had a scar, I think too. They, these are, this is the old school optic, which I think is fucking sick, bro. And this is something I wish the new versions of the SCAR, which is the TAC 56 from NW2, and the TAC Eradicator, I think is what it's called, which is the other TAC LMG. I wish this those game, those guns had this optic. Like, this is such a sick optic. It moves. It even has the old school, like, uh, wiggle mechanic. So if anyone doesn't know what I'm talking about, the wiggle mechanics, basically in old CODs, the optic wasn't always zero correctly and so even though you were shooting and hitting the same thing right what would happen is you see how this back optic to one closer to the eye so the one that doesn't have the circle that's just like a u basically that moves you see how it's moving with the gun but your center optic is staying centered old cods used to have this but it was even sev more severe and it made for some really sick stuff go back and watch some old scar gameplay from old cods and you'll see exactly what i'm talking about right um something that a lot of cods these days don't have because a lot of their visualness is all steady like it's all pictured so it's not actually like you know it, it's really hard to explain but it's not as, as fluent as it was back then right um, but again, I just, I'm, I fell in, I'm falling in love with this optic and I think I might turn this gun into something I use more often simply because of this optic. I just think this looks so good. It feels super satisfying, like just running it. So that's that. Um, and let's see what else we have here. Uh, that's the only two new weapons we got. Unfortunately, there was rumors we we're supposed to get the XRK this season, but it is what it is. Um, also... <laughs> some other things that have also changed um is we got the sidewinder uh full auto conversion kit which is something that i thought was going to be a weekly challenge but it's not that's right here you can see it and it basically turns the sidewinder into a full auto lmg but it's not the way it so originally when it leaked it was supposed to be like an assault rifle like turn it basically into an acr but higher damage it did not do with that. Uh, what it actually has done is it gives increasingly high fire rate as the longer you shoot it. There is a gun from Black Ops 4, and my buddy Xavier, I hope he watches this video because he can probably tell you guys the name in the comments because he played a lot of that game. But in Black Ops 4, there was an SMG, and it had the same exact style where uh, it would shoot slow and progressively get faster and faster and faster, right? Um, and we'll, I'll show you the cases real quick for you guys. But I think what's really important to take note of here is that, sure, the recoil is kind of bad. I'm going to work on getting a build out for you guys to use this. But um, one of the biggest things it takes into mind is if you watch the fire pattern, the fire pattern is straighter. It's fucking straighter, bro. This is literally the thing that I've been saying to people since day one with the Sidewinder is if they could fix the the shooting pattern. So how your bullets are coming out of your rifle, right? So, like, normally... With this the sidewinder, it's like a circle, right? It shoots and it goes bang, 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 but it's going in a circle. It's not staying straight on target, right? Or going up, down, side to side. It's going in a circle, which means the majority of the bullets you're shooting, unless you're close, aren't actually hitting, right? They're, you're only hitting like maybe one or two of those shots, right? That's the problem with the sidewinder. That's why it feels weak. The sidewinder has some of the highest damage output of almost any gun in the game, actually. It's just because it's it's way it shoots. It's so shit, right? This seems to fix that issue, which is going to be insane to see how this plays in the regular ex play, uh, gameplay experience. Um, on zombies, I felt really good, too. I used it a little bit on zombies for week the weekly challenge. But that's that. There's also a barrel, or not a barrel, a muzzle they added. But for some reason, I can't seem to find the barrel. So, I, or the muzzle. So, I'm going to do some research to see what the muzzle works for. I checked for some SMGs. But I couldn't find it. 
I just some ARs couldn't find this. I, I don't know. I don't know. But we'll show that here in a second from the Battle Pass. Um, they also added Backstar Light. So we know for a fact that A-Train and Firecracker, those two are new boys characters coming. We also know that Homelander um, and then uh, Black Noir are coming back as well. Um, but we also have Starlight coming back. But Starlight is some reason in the game... I don't know why they didn't bring any of the other the other two back yet, but if you haven't bought her already and you want her, uh, she's in the game now, so pretty cool for people that care. I don't really dig her skin. I don't like her white pattern. Like, she doesn't, doesn't really fit my, my style. But um, here is the new Battle Pass sector. It's basically get 40 elite kills in different ways and then get 20 kills on elites while moving, so pretty simple easy challenges but here's that that jack uh sidewinder lmg kit <clears throat> and then here's the new aftermarket part for the muzzle again i i don't know where this is but apparently this muzzle is super broken from what i've heard from some of the of the esports e players talking about on twitter apparently this takes away all the recoil on pretty much any gun that puts it on so i won't be surprised if we see a nerf come for this in the future <clears throat> and then obviously we get a an emblem and a and some double xp and then we also get the new uh, DLC gun. As for the other DLC gun, you just want to go in here to the challenges. Um, go to week 7, and right here is the new LMG. Um, so that's pretty cool too. As for everything else they've added, it's pretty mid. Uh, like I'll show you guys the rewards. Right here is the rewards for the event. Um... But that's pretty much it. But let's talk about the stuff that's broke. So we talked about the um, the LMG being glitched on multiplayer. I, I'm sorry, on on zombies. But I also have heard from people saying the LMG is also bugged on multiplayer as well. So I'm, I'm from what I understand, the LMG is just not beatable right now. It's not unlockable. Um, some other bugs that I've been running into is uh, there's been a lot of freezing and jittering on the game. So keep that in mind when you're playing with this new season reloaded. Um, the Warzone experience is still kind of buggy. Uh, if you played Zombies, right? <laughs> if you were a Zombies player and you were having issues before, even if you weren't, I think they just gave out to everybody. I, I so Online, they said it was for people that had issues, but I didn't have any issues last season or just so far this season. <laughs> and I still got the rewards. But basically, if you had issues or so I play Zombies in general, you can come over here to the uh, purchased uh, stash. And you will see all four Wonder Weapons, so Scorcher, VR-11, Ray Gun, and Wonder Waff, three Epic Tools, and three Pack-3 Crystals. Those will all be in your stash, ready to go for you. Super dope. I've used two of, of each of these so far. Um, and obviously, I haven't touched the Wonder Weapons because I have my own Wonder Weapons saved up here. And then I have, like, the, I have the schematics and that, too. So, um, But yeah, so that's... <laughs> that's something too that you got um there doesn't seem to be anything else huge with zombies they really didn't do a whole lot with zombies this this uh this thing we didn't get no more act missions or anything um they're they're not done or anything they're all the same so keep that in mind when you're playing um but that's pretty much it man that's pretty much everything that was added in the mid-season update obviously there was some big stuff with, like weapon balancing and stuff if you guys want me to make a video breaking down every single nerf, buff, um, and weapon attachment difference and changes and all that, I can. Um, I just feel like those videos take forever to make, and then then like watching them just is not a fun experience. It's just someone talking about weapon damage and shit. But if that's something you guys need or want, then obviously I will be the man's to make it for you. Um, but I normally don't. Like, it's normally something that I don't feel like people actually care that much about. I know they did buff the ACR, um, and they buffed the G36, uh, at least for Warzone, and they nerfed a ton of guns, except for the meta guns. Apparently, the, in the, the MTZ Interceptor and the Swarm are both still powerful, and they didn't nerf them like they said they were, so I don't know, man. <laughs> 
I don't know, man. This game is, this game is broken as hell, man. I, I don't know what else to say, man. This game is broken as hell. But with that being said, man, that's pretty much everything in this update. I'll have more videos coming out today and tomorrow. I'm trying to fix my seat schedule, so I'll probably pump me on a lot of videos today, even if it's just random stuff. <clears throat> the series for Daisy is still happening. We're just taking a small break while this updates stuff. Um, and we'll be soon getting back into the Black Ops 3 story, as well as the further of the other COD stories as well. Play replaying those in 2024. <clears throat> With that being said, I love you guys. One of a kind. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.